Hi, welcome to Fayetteville Public Library's After School Workshop. My name is Allison, and thanks so much for tuning in today. I've got a Valentine's Day craft for you. Uh, it's coming up on Sunday. So if you are looking to make a special one-of-a-kind card instead of going to the store and buying one, this is the project for you. It's very simple, uh, just requires a few materials. You're going to be doing some sewing, but without the needle. How about that? Uh, let me show you the finished product. You're going to be making yarn art, okay? This is done with a piece of cardboard and uh, just yarn. It's got different shades of pinks and reds in it. And then here's another sample. L-O-V-E. <laughs> and then I wanted to try something else because I'm always into upcycling. Uh, so besides using pieces of cardboard that I had around the house, I used one of those styrofoam, styrofoam trays that uh, meat or produce comes in at the store. It's a great way to keep it out of the landfill, um, but, and it was very, very easy to use. The cardboard was a little hard to punch through. You'll probably need to have your adult do that for you, but with the styrofoam, it's uh, just pretty easy to uh, punch little holes in it, so it's probably something you can do yourself with adult supervision, all right? So what you'll need, like I said, is either cardboard or one of these styrofoam trays, which if you look at, kind of makes a neat frame around your design. You'll need the yarn of your, the color of your choice, some scissors, a pencil, and a sharp uh, ended object. You can use a pencil, you can use a point of scissors. I used this little screwdriver. You'll need some tape. And if you're not sure that you can freehand draw your pattern, you might want to go to the internet and print off some patterns. I wasn't sure I could get a symmetrical heart, so I went to the internet and just printed off a small one and a large one. And that's the large one is what I used for the cardboard sample. Okay, see? So what you do is, if you use the styrofoam tray, what I did is on the back, I just held the heart up to the back of the tray. Make sure it's where you want it, nice and centered. And then I just go around with a pencil and then just punch the pattern. Now I'm not using all the dots. I'm using every other one that I made because I realized they were too close together. Go all the way around and you don't have to do hearts. Uh, like I said, you know, like I showed you, you can do letters, um, you can do a flower, you can come up with your own design for your yarn card. Almost there. Now, these holes are going to be too small to get your yarn through, but that's where the sharp object, uh, the, the pointed object comes in, whether it's the pair of scissors or uh, the screwdriver like I have. So you're going to want to enlarge the holes. See, there they are. Okay, and you're just going to want to poke, kind of twist it around a little bit and see how much bigger that makes the hole. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way around, see if I can do this kind of quick. So you can turn the video off and get started on your own. All the way around. You can uh, draw the person's name, if you like, if you want to do the letters. But that's the nice thing about upcycling, is if you're using extra cardboard that is lying around the house and you don't get it right the first time, you can try with some more. It's all going to a good use. Okay, see that? See how they're much bigger? Okay, so now we're going to turn it around and your design, I'm not quite centered there. <laughs> That's what happens whenever you're doing this backwards. Uh, you're going to start your yarn on the back. Now to make it easy to pull through, I put a little bit of tape to reinforce the ending, almost kind of serving as a bit of a needle. And another thing about this project, if you don't get enough yarn the first time, you can just simply join it with a second piece. 
Okay. All right. You're going to want to anchor it on the back. I'm going to start at the top center of the heart. So just anchor it with a piece of tape so it won't go anywhere. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to reinforce this end with tape so it won't be quite so bendy and flexible and it'll punch through a lot easier. Okay, all right, so there's your front. Now I'm going to go in through the back. See it coming out? And I'm going to pull the yarn all the way through. And I've got quite a long piece here. Now you can decide what pattern you want to do. You can zigzag it all the way around like I did. Or you can go back and forth across. And the neat thing about this is if it doesn't work out like you want, you can unthread it. <laughs> you can pull it back out and start all over. So what I'm going to do is then I'll punch through down at the bottom. Didn't get my hole quite big enough. That's another thing that you could do is you can go back and widen the hole some more. And pull the yarn all the way through. There you go. And then you're going to go right next to your original one. Pull it through. And then you'll go to the one that's opposite that. Let me tell you, it is interesting trying to do this backwards. <laughs> and they have some people who are standing outside the window watching, so I'm under pressure. <laughs> Will not go through. Hang on. Hang in there with me. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do just a couple more so you can see that pattern start to emerge. You see how it's starting? And then you go to the one right next to it. Pull your thread through, and then go to the one opposite. And like I said, don't, don't get concerned if it doesn't turn out like you want it to. You can always pull the thread back out and start all over again. All right, that's how you do it. And you just keep going all the way around. You thread through the top, and then you come to the opposite and keep going around and around and around. And when you're finished, You'll just snip off the end and secure it with tape, and it will end up looking like that. Now, you can cover the back with a piece of construction paper to hide the work that's back there. Let me show you how I did it with the big piece of cardboard. I just covered all that up with red so it looks nice and neat. And you can write a message, or you can decorate it with some glitter or stickers, write a little message below it, and it just makes something really nice they can put in their personal space. Or maybe it's for your, if it's for your grown-up, they've got a, a space on their desk at work, and they can put it there. But it's just a really pretty way to make a special Valentine's card for somebody special in your life. All right, so again, cardboard or styrofoam yarn of your choice, the color of your choice. You'll need a pencil or something with a sharp point and something probably to widen the holes just a little bit to make sure your yarn goes through okay. Uh, don't forget your scissors and your tape. And if you're not sure you can freehand that heart, lots of patterns on the internet that you can hold up to your cardboard or your styrofoam and just punch your way around and make your holes. So I hope you have fun with this project. I know the person that receives your yarn art will be very, very happy and appreciate the effort that you've gone to. They're gonna love it. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day and thanks again for tuning in and I will see you again soon. Bye.